stat you on to 75 here yeah. um, for the grand finale of my triumphant return to YouTube videos for the month of uh, May 2011. I have a really special piece here for you. I was waiting for this one for so long and I'm so pleased with it. It's from, uh, as you see here, State of the Art Toys. AJ did a great job with this. It's the Soda 10th Anniversary Edition of Ryu, or Ryu, however you want to call them. Licensed by Capcom. It's based on the Super Street Fighter 4 version of them. And as you can see, uh, collector's art piece, not a toy. Tell my fiance that. But it's, I get the, the box is huge. It's number 42 of 100. My only gripe is I was supposed to get a low number, and I don't really think 42 is that low out of 100. It's my only complaint, AJ. I was supposed to get a low number. I ordered earlier from your site, but whatever. Um, there was 200 of the regular Rayus and 100 of the Eva Rayu, I believe. And this is actually, here's the side of the box. Here's the um, pictures of the statue, and here's the art that it was based on. I think Long Vo did that art. I'm pretty sure. It's a nice artwork of Ryu with the uh, Hado energy around him at the bottom. And this is, as you can see, the dark Hado variant. So, um,. It's Evil Ryu. It's the standard version, but I got the dark pedal variant. So let's just get to this amazing piece at hand here. Oh my god, AJ just did such a great job with this. Look at the hair. Look at the details and the paint on the face. I love it. I love how they added the uh, kanji. Let me remove the, um, the hair piece to show you the kanji so you can see it without the uh, bandana in the way. See, the bandana removes the little hole. It goes in very nicely. And there's the kanji. Looks great. Very pleased with that. Very happy how it looks. It's almost like brushed on that. I don't know, it looks really cool. They did a great job with it. And he added it last minute. I don't think he was gonna have it at first, but then he put it in, thank God. Would have been a lot of upset people if that didn't get added. Cool, I like how the headband's flowing too in the air. They did a great, great job with that. Oh, here I have to. Actually, I'm gonna put him down, put the camera down for one second just to make an adjustment here. Perfect. Or maybe not. Bear with me, YouTube world. <laughs> there we go. Also, you could see the um, the Japanese kanjis on his belt, just like in the game. I love, like, this is actually loose. The uh, shirt, I don't know if you can see it moving. But this shirt is like a loose sculpt. There's no way of removing it. It's sculpted over, but it's actually loose from the statue. I like how they replicated his gloves, too, from the game. And they used, a lot of people like, why is there a cog 
for the base. Well, there's a cog because it's Soda's symbol, the company Soda. State of the Art Toys, you can see the cog right there. And that's it right there. And AJ opted to take out the little guy out of the center, which is kind of good because it really has nothing to do with Street Fighter. So the cog I don't mind. Let's show you another really cool feature of this statue, which is what I love. That's the light up feature. It looks amazing lit up. I'm trying to spin it around as much as I can without, you know, wrapping the wire around everywhere. Yeah. One little complaint was from the factory was that they put the plug in the front. As you can see, it's right in the front. But what are you gonna do? That's fine. Not a big deal. I love the, the light up feature, it's great. I mean, it's, as you can see when I unplug it, it's purple, reddish purple. It should have been more red for Evo Ryu, but that's fine, not a big deal. But if he does do an Akuma or a Shin Akuma, yeah, the purple's great, the dark hado. Let's see how it looks in the dark too. Just looks really nice, it's really bright. Great work. I'm sure if I saw this video, I would run out and buy this piece. Just from seeing this light up feature alone, the LEDs, great job, so bright. You can remove them. Um, I don't know if I should try to right now, maybe a small piece. But when you take it off, uh, let's see if we can get a small one. <laughs> of course, they're all big. Uh, he has one. Let's see. You can see how bright the light is. Now trying to get this in is probably going to be a little tricky. But I had to show YouTube World what the light looked like. There we go. Kind of get it back in. There we go. It's back in. There you can see how bright that light up feature is. Put the lights back on. Love the texture in his uh, gi. It's like rough. It's like sandpaper. It's not cloth, it's all sculpt, which some people might really appreciate. They really made him look like the Ryu from the uh, Super Street Fighter 4. Hair looks great. As you can see the eyes in the regular version, they did a good job on that too. That's the regular Ryu, and he's got the blue hato, hato around him. Whereas the evil Ryu, Ryu or the dark variant has the purple hato. But there you go, there's your evil Ryu. Soda 10th anniversary quarter scale evil Ryu. With the light up feature, which looks just amazing. Very happy with this piece. AJ, you did amazing. Good work. Please make a quarter scale Akuma or Shin Akuma for the variant and do the light up feature with that. Oh, that'll be great. You'll definitely have me sold. One last spin around. So you can see the kanji and everything. All right, everyone. Have a great night. I hope you appreciated my return to YouTube. Good night.